Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Wow, look at that. Beautiful blue sky, pristine solar conditions. First time in over a month, really. And we'll do a quick little follow-up. Got a bunch of panels out here tied into several different systems. That top string of 500 watts is now charging that Red Odo, 200 amp hour, 100 amp BMS, lithium iron phosphate battery. Let's do a little quick look at it while we have these great conditions. Okay, so yesterday uh, when I showed you guys the video introducing you to this 12.8 volt, 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from Red Odo, uh, the first thing we're doing is giving it its first full charge and we have the great conditions today to where I can show you on the app how it's looking and behaving. Doesn't always have great solar conditions here but today we do so we're going to take advantage of it and I wanted to just reiterate that before you ever put a first discharge on this go ahead and charge your battery all the way up and that's what we're doing right now so let's take a look at the app and see how it's behaving. So we are using this Victron Energy Smart Solar Charge Controller, the 100 volt 30 amp controller, and it's just humming along perfectly right now. And on that 500 watt string, we've got 430 watts coming in right now. 78.6 volts, as you can see there on the top right. 5.5 amps of current. And it's pushing uh, right at 29, 30 amps, right at the limit of that charge controller. So absolutely perfect. And the battery voltage is up to 14.08 on this much uh, solar coming in right now. So it's well on its way to uh, getting to a full charge today. I'm using the lithium iron phosphate uh, preset on the Victron charge controller. And that's gonna take it up to 14.2 volts, hold it there for a couple of hours as it winds down its charge, and then it'll click over into float at 13.5. So just pristine conditions, just pumping uh, right at 30 amps. You can see the charge controller keeping it right under 30 or right at 30, 29.9. Absolutely perfect conditions. So this battery is behaving exactly as it should. We want to make sure we get it up to a full charge and then we'll start discharging it and putting it into normal use. And that's how we always do out here when we get a, a brand new battery. Get it up to a full charge, put it into operation and then use it as you would. Yeah, man, look at that. I haven't seen that kind of wattage coming in in over a month on that string. Very happy about that. And perfect time to catch this to show you how it operates. And before we started uh, charging this up to its first initial full charge, as you recall, I pulled out the 200 amp hour plus version of their uh, lineup. And this one has a 200 amp BMS and it was in float condition, so it had gone up to the 14.2, been held there for a couple of hours, and then uh, into float, which basically shut the panels off, allowed no uh, power coming in off the panels as this tried to get down to 13.5, and then it would have opened up. And here it is, it's been resting overnight. After that completely full charge, you can see it is starting to go down, but the this battery is in such good shape, it's going down slowly, holding a voltage of 13.82. Uh, so this is a completely full battery. Now over time, if I was just to not use this and not hook it up to anything, it'll eventually settle into about 13.6, but the, this battery is in such good shape that it's still holding a 13.82, which is absolutely 100% full. It would be even if it was reading it at 13.6 or 13.5, but 
it's just taking a long time for it to settle down. And that's great, and that's indicative of a, a, a newer battery in fantastic shape. Just holds that higher charge a little bit longer. So that one's just looking like it should. Thought I'd show you guys that. I mentioned it yesterday uh, that 13.5 in lithium iron phosphate at rest is full. So yeah, well full and looking good. And this one that we're uh, still reviewing and looking at, uh, it's doing fantastic on its first charge. Looking great. And just take one more look at the app because it's so beautiful today. 431 watts coming in. Got it up to about 14 volts. Uh, the conditions continue throughout the day. This will easily get up to float. So everything's looking great on this new 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate from Red Odo. It's the 100 amp BMS. And after we get this fully charged, we will start doing some demonstrations to show you what, what you can do with a battery of this size with the 100 amp BMS. It's gonna be pretty impressive. Yeah, just loving that. So pumping, pumping some amps. And yeehaw, guys. Wow. Just when you thought you'd never see the sun again, it comes out. It makes you fall in love with Hawaii all over again. Yeah, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful day going on. All right, guys. I'll keep you tuned in on the uh, how this battery goes. <laughs> I got tongue-tied there for a minute. But anyway, you get the idea. I'll keep showing you how things work out here. Everything I put up there, if I ever run across a problem, you'll be the first to know. All systems are go. Have a great day wherever you are, and aloha.